Hey y'all, how are you doing? It's the Nerdy Entrepreneur here. I'm gonna make a quick uh, video now that my cat has scurried away because uh, I'm outside. <laughs> so, um, I got a story to tell you. I don't know if I have enough time to tell you, but I'm gonna tell you at least a piece of it. So, you know, I I do have a cleaning business and I do have a uh, small call center. And you know when you're not when you're a small company you should learn uh to really disqualify companies uh to work with you know because you're going to run into a lot of bs factors that come up that is not particularly the fault of your service but really the fault on what's going on with the company that you are serving so you know in this perspective we answer you know from the virtual sort of reception side of our call center is we answer inbound calls and we'll make outbound calls um if the owner whoever gives us those calls to make so they're like hey listen just call this one to confirm an appointment or tell them we're going to be running late you know that kind of stuff you know you know the, the job of a receptionist if their job is to just answer incoming calls and make some outbound calls you know simple stuff and so uh, there's no issue with doing that. The issue is when a business doesn't have any business, right? If you're just starting out, you know, with your company, if you don't have any business coming yet, maybe getting a call center to be your answering service essentially is not the best thing when you have absolutely no business or you have very little business. With the exceptions are that if you do miss a call, it's worth, you know, a lot of money. And even if it is you really want a receptionist service, don't start on one of the mid-tier plans. Start on something simple. For instance, we have a plan that's less than $200 a month where you can get a receptionist answering your calls. Less than $200 a month. A very affordable plan. But sometimes people, you know, when we talk to them on sales calls, they're like, oh, no, I don't want that plan. And I was like, why? If you go over it, it's only like an additional few cents, <laughs> you know, per, per minute, you know, and it probably make more sense, especially when you don't have uh, a lot of call volume. And we always say, hey, listen, if you need to go up, we'll shift you off the plan. We have no problem or shift you down a plan, you know, whatever's uh, convenient, because what we don't want is people on a higher tier plan and they don't get really much of any use out that plan. And then they come back and call and blame us for their misfortune of, you know, we're just another bill because, well, they're not getting any business, right? Like if you just started your business last week, you know, most of the times a call center service, you know, answering service, virtual reception service is probably not the best thing for you, you know, right now, just because of, you know, where your business is. You're just trying to get your business off the ground. Or if it is, then you want to get, go with the, low plan that they have like we have a plan that's under two hundred dollars and that's a perfect plan for people who are starting up or don't have a lot of call value because it shouldn't be something that really breaks the bank in fact you pay more for technology services you know with uh, just to keep your books in order but that's not what this particular client wanted to do he kept talking to big game and all that and you know i'm used to hearing that and about the salesperson used to hearing that so we're like okay you know whatever you tell us is what we're gonna have to believe but we told them, I was like, listen, if you're not getting a big call volume and this, you know, this is going to become a burden financially, you can uh, pause the service and come back. Or you can go to the lower, more appropriate plan, which is where we placed them at. We literally did an evaluation and said, you need the lower tier plan if you're going to work with us at all. Oh, we're going to work with you at all. Just take the lower tier plan. And that's not what they wanted to do. So what happened? Two months go by and I have the stats on their calls. We've had in two months, we've had about 14 calls. 14 calls that have come through in their number. And now they're angry at us. 